In the Elizabethan era, it was increasingly popular for beggars to be found wandering the streets looking for money, but instead, all they'd find was a cruel punishment. In this era, there were quite a few crimes that would seem unheard of and almost unnecessary. For example, traveling inside the country without a license. In this era, it was illegal to travel inside England if you did not have a license. This was made a rule because it made traveling more expensive. Its purpose was to help preventing plagues and sicknesses from being spreaded, and also to stop poor people from going to village to village. This largely affected the actors of this time. The actors were treated with as much suspicion as any beggar would be, and before plays became popular, actors could often be seen traveling and were faced with threats and the possibility of being arrested. When plays became more popular, noblemen would sponsor the actors by giving them a higher social status. Most popular crimes of this time are considered poor crimes, for example, theft, cut purses, begging, poaching, adultery, debtors, forgers, fraud, and dice collars. But there were also more noble crimes such as high treason, blasphemy, spying, rebellion, murder, witchcraft, and elf. Even if you are accused of doing a crime, it may, if not will, result in some form of torture. The trials were designed to be on the prosecutor's side, meaning the defendant's chance of being let off are slim to none. Various forms of torture were used to get different sorts of information out of someone. Some of the torture tools used for unproven crimes included the following. The rack, the scavenger's daughter, the collar, the iron maiden, branding irons, and assorted instruments designed to inflict intense pain. Punishment for crimes committed by commoners during the Elizabethan era included the following. Hanging, burning, whipping, branding, pressing, the wheel, beheading, etc. The two most common punishments of this time were burning and beheading. Being burnt at the stake was a punishment which was used during the reign of Bloody Mary. Queen Elizabeth's elder sister. Yet the executioners sometimes showed the victim mercy by putting gunpowder under the victim for a swifter and less painful death. Beheadings or death by axe was the terrifying thought. The punishment was typically held in a public setting and witnessed by crowds of people. The punishment was continued after death when traitors heads were placed on stakes and displayed in public. If they were not sent over to be beheaded, they would be sent over to the Tower of London. Built in 1078 by William the Conqueror, the Tower of London guarded royal possessions and was used as a sleeping ground before being turned into a prison. The tower held multiple prisoners, especially Henry VIII's lovers, yet most notably it held Queen Elizabeth I. Elizabeth was placed in the tower by her half-sister Mary during her reign from 1553 to 1559. Elizabeth was placed there for being Protestant and thus opposed her sister's goals to restore Catholicism to all of England. Another famous prisoner was a man named Guy Fawkes, who was placed there after an attempt to blow up the Parliament. Now, the prisoner was not only used for people, but also for animals storing up to 60 different species in its time that were held in terrible conditions. The tower slowly lost usage and turned into an attraction for people to explore until the Second World War, where it was used to store Nazi prisoners. <laughs>